right appreciate everybody for tuning in to the nation this is another film session as we begin to look at film there's several ways why you look at film right uh one can say this right here when you're looking at film you're looking at it for these reasonings that you trust what people say about a player but then there's things that you want to verify right so that's what we look at film some people look at the film for the glory of the highlight some people look at the film for evaluation some people just look at film because hey <laughs> they want to be able to identify with a certain player of why they cut or why they released or just have a notion uh, or a another philosophy of a certain player so if you look back at number 61 his name is Kerry Hyder, uh, six foot two, about 298 pounds, give or take, close to 300. His skill set, he plays up right a little bit. He don't have that bend. He don't have that uh, quote unquote nastiness as it relates to putting your shoulder blade to the ground. He don't have that. But he do have one bull rush move, and that's his only weapon. And his get off is just crazy. He has those type of things in, in his toolbox. Shout out to those that's in the uh, chat box. Appreciate you all that's on the uh, Periscope as well. Guys, this is the thing. Can he get to the quarterback? That's the name of the game. Also, is he able to be in this particular system to help out the Dallas Cowboys? I would say yes. And especially, especially if you're talking about Papa Rod Marinelli. Is he able to elevate this guy to the next level? As this room fill up, we are live. This is a live film session, and we're going to go over his sacks. And also, I got one play in there where he's stopping to run. Now, he didn't play at all during his um, last year, what have you, well, year before last, because he had a torn ACL or something like that. He's just all snapped up. And uh, his main weapon and his skill set is just bull rushing power and speed off the line. So with that being said, when he came into the, uh, the the following year, they had a change of coaching philosophy and it just didn't fit his scheme or he didn't fit the scheme that the coaches were trying to put out there. So, all right. So that's enough intro for everything. Really appreciate each and every last one of you all. Let's just look at this right here. Let's look at the big boy. That's what I call it. Now, he was drafted in 2014. Uh, he's like I said, he's six foot two. And um, his cousin played football as well, Chris Houston. Y'all know who he is. But his strength, according to the analyst, says he thick throughout his trunk, stout against the run, drops his base, and holds his ground well. Excellent hands. So he uses his hands. You're going to see that. He shoots his hands and he jolts the defenders. Now, with this being said, uh, the, he does have the act of pause. I like that act of pause. I'm gonna, let's highlight this act of pause to disengage. He gives effort to pursue. This is the thing. I want to give you guys this right here. A determination. A man with a strong will and determination will dig a ditch faster with a spoon than a lazy man can with a crane. Meaning that he got that type of uh, determination. Tough, durable for the last three year starters. Yes. His weakness. Let's look at this weakness point right quick. His weakness. Bad body build, basically. Size, length is just inadequate. They put adequate, but it's inadequate. And uh, they were saying that he don't have the explosiveness. But I want to go right back up to where his strength says exceptional. 4-3-3 second on a 20 cone yard shuttle. That's fast, guys. <laughs> that is fast, quick feet for a big brother. Especially at six foot two, two hundred and ninety-eight pounds, give or take. Now, when I'm saying right here, he's top heavy, his movement, lower body stiffness, struggles to redirect efficiently, production effort base, could stand to shed of some bad weight, meaning that he's built incorrectly. And shout out to my brother from another mother, Vach Lombardi. This was his breakdown. Just watch film on Kerry Hyder. Detroit played him with four spots, three tackle, zero. And also he played both sides of the field. Wide defensive right end and wide defensive left end. So Dallas probably played him three, strong side and rotational. Solid versus the run. So, and, and this is what uh, Vach Lombardi uh, pretty much put down into the deal. So let's go back to the film. Really appreciate you guys for reading over this with me. And we're going to look at this film. 
and we're going to look at everything we can find and see what what we got our hands on. He signed with the Dallas Cowboys, so let's see what they probably is looking at with his skill set. This is him lining up at zero. <laughs> now, he's not going to get the, the direct push that you want out for that, that line, but he had the determination. That's what's in the scouting report. Watch how you rip through, and this guy's going to hit him low, and he's going to continue to go through and try to get that tackle or get that sack. And we love sacks, right? Uh, right here. It's over with, right? <laughs> Quarterback should get this ball out of his hands, but strong determination will push, get the sack. They credited him a sack for this. Quarterback needed to get the ball out quick, but hey, <laughs> that's the problem and the story of another day. We're not evaluating him, right? <laughs> All right, so crash up field, determination. You just saw that burst. Second effort is everything. We just saw two sacks from this brother <laughs> from strong determination. This had nothing to do with skill set. Mm, push, bull rush, continue to fight, 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 and get the sack. That's what we want to see. We want to see that high motor. We want to see that intensity off the line. And we want to see a guy that can, or a player, and they can crash up field and get to the quarterback. That's what we want, Cowboy Nation. And he's able to get to the quarterback off of this rip too. Now we can see a little bit better and can contribute to a Haloti Nadi too because he was on his line. So he had a little help inside. So when you have that type of ability to still squeeze and pull. Now, the thing is with Papa Rob Marinelli, I just hope he don't try to get him out of the frog stand with the four four hands. Well, with the uh, with, with four, being a four down lineman or what have you with all of his everything on the dirt. I just hope that Rob Marinelli keep him doing what he's been doing. <laughs> Not the three-point stand, the four-point stand. You know what I'm talking about. We call it the frog. But uh, he's going to jump out just like that. He keeps four. He look, look at his stance right here. We have yet to see anybody play like this with that stance in a long time with the Cowboys. But he explode off of that, jump inside, push, continue to fight disengaged and gave able to get that sack there i like what i'm seeing and this is him being around the ball collapse the pocket remember this los goes all around the world <laughs> and uh we want to see that pocket being pushed back and this guy's already put your hands on your knees hands on your knees <laughs> you give the ball to the running back he's still able to crash and fill this gap right here it's a fumble and he's on the ball that's what we want Turnovers, takeaways, I don't like them. I love them. <laughs> Shout out to you, Patrick Huddley. Thank you for tuning in on the Periscope. And the Slopes, appreciate you as well. Jump on the ball. Get down on it. That's what we want to see, Cowboy Nation. We want to see that type of tenacity out there on the field. All right. Let's look at it against the, uh, the Bears. Remember, effort is everything, right? Strong determination and will to continue to chase upfield and get that sack now is he a world-class guy no but is he a high motor guy yes i love it i love it i love the guy that's able to get to this uh point in their career to just be continue to fight push that's his only move <laughs> dog it ugly but deadly let's go back to this move Watch this. He's going to put this guy on skates. He's going to do the moon walk, and he's going to continue to fight through his chest. Sharp jab. Remember, the scouting report said he had strong hands. Something about those strong hands, right? And boom, push, 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 disengage, rip, get to the ball. <laughs> That's what Coach wants him to do, I guarantee. I guarantee. That's what Coach wants him to do. Now, we saw him line up everywhere. This is him line up on the far left side of the field or what have you. And he's going to take on the right tackle. Push. <laughs> Keep them legs moving. Push it back. <laughs> no technique at all. Just straight pull rush. <laughs> Watch how you get off the line. And that's my only reservation. Will he still have that burst off the line? Remember, he run a 4-3-3 in the shuttle on the 20 cone. Let's see if he, that's the only thing. When he gets over here in a couple of following weeks, during the offseason, during the training camp, we want to see if he have that same explosiveness. In that four-point stand, he's going to bull, bull rush and hit the man's center chest. Go. 
pause it right here. He's going to jab. He's going to be the first person to initiate contact. <clears throat> That's what you want to do. Drive. Use those hips. And remember, I was telling you guys, in the scouting report, they said he's awkwardly built, meaning that he's got that low center of gravity, right? And he just pulled and bull rushed right through this guy. Get rid of him. Hands up. Don't get too much of the face mask. Push through. Disengage. Get the sack. That's what we want. That rip, that push, and that follow through. And continue to drive back. Like I said, he don't have any other weaponry in his toolbox outside of the bull rush and the quick speed off the burst. So hopefully he still have a little of that left in his tank after his surgery. And we'll see what he can do. Uh, this is him lined up on the opposite side right now. And this, this is a determination sack. <laughs> Quarterback running for his life. And he continued to crash up field to get the sack. That's what we like to see, Cowboy Nation. All right, we're going to see from here four point stands. He's going to explode off and get to Andrew Luck. He wasn't lucky off of this. Explode off the line. The LOS is powerful and just demolishes guy. We're going to look at it from the other view. <laughs> like, you're not going to see other pass rush techniques just straight up the middle straight up the gut all right so appreciate everybody for tuning in to the nation let me know of your thoughts let me know of your opinions of this guy carry Hyder. just 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 rip through his guy <laughs> no ben <laughs> no ben at all i can say this taco got more band than his brother <laughs> but look how you got uh andrew on the dirt I love it. I love it. I love every bit of it, Cowboy Nation. Let me see what we who all we have in the chat box. Shout out to Raymond. Thank you for tuning in to the nation. Marinelli will know what to do with him. Yes, I guarantee you. Your boy, 3467, says, Law, what's up, man? Shout out to you. Tyrone Church. Yes, he's a good left hand. Uh, to me personally, I wouldn't put him inside with the Cowboys, but I would try to see if he can be a rotational piece on the outside. Now, if can he play the three? Yes, I, I think that he can play that type of uh, 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 skill. And you have uh, who? Dorrance Armstrong on the opposite side. That, that probably would work. That would probably work. Playing him a little bit inside, but I don't know, man. Let me know. Uh, Coach Hudson, appreciate you for tuning in on the Periscope. Appreciate you. Let me know what you think of this particular guy, Kerry Hyder. Now, I would say this. I'm a little picky about numbers. I don't like him wearing 61. He should wear another number. What number should he pick out for my Dallas Cowboys? Let me know as well. William Perryman, just join in. Appreciate you on the Periscope. Raymond, shout out to you as well. All right, so who else we have? Good under the radar signing. Salute. Yes, looking crazy. Sean, he says, you improved. Yeah. Yes, yes, we've improved. So this is the thing, Cowboy Nation. As we look at all these film and we look at these player evaluations, remember, we trust what the stats say, but we need to verify from the film. And my thing is the 53-man roster is a long way from now, right? It's a long way from now. It's a journey, right? The race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong. It's to he that endureth. So what we got to do, Cowboy Nation, we got to endure to the end of this particular offseason journey because the draft is a right around the corner. They bring it in a McDowell tomorrow, a big physical defensive tackle. We're going to pull up his film next. If you guys got a little energy tonight, we're going to bring in his film and see what he can bring to the table. I think that he's a pure run stuffer, uh, not a high volume sack guy at this point. And then he just had a little staff uh, with the uh, Seattle but he'll pull up his film and see what we can do from there. Um, Coach Hudson said, low risk, high possibility, high possible rewards, basically. Uh, I like that, Coach. Appreciate you, man. See, Coach Hudson over here on the Periscope holding it down like 4,000 pounds. Look how you get there. Boy. Yes, I love it. Um, let me see who else we have here. Tristan, see money. Appreciate you. Uh, see money. Imagine if we get Malik McDowell. Yes. That's what I'm saying. McDowell will be a, a great guy that's, that we can put inside. Look, we, we pulled up the uh, devastating film the other day 
on the Dallas Cowboys versus the LA Rams. It's it's one of those things where is Cowboys <laughs> they looked at that film and they probably said to themselves, "We need help inside. <laughs> We're gonna figure out how we can stop and eliminate all of the foolishness, the foolery that's going on with players thinking that they can run inside. Let's get some high, let's get some high volume." pluggers that we can put inside some speed guys and that's what they're doing right now even in this offseason Antoine Barbecue Woods did a great job all season but let's look at it from this on his scouting report let's go back to this big boy let's go back to the big boy they talk about uh, stamina may be an issue for him right let's pull this up let's pull this up Uh, let me see I know I read it somewhere size and length just inadequate does not have the ideal bill not explosive and and trust me this was the draft evaluation so he he got a chance to to grow from here it says top heavy movement shows some lower body stiffness meaning that his hips are not as loose as you want it redirect ah, they kind of saying it was kind of poor uh, let me see i know why he read somewhere yes here you go right here could stand to shed a few bad weight and improve his conditioning and stamina. The best way to improve this young lad stamina would be to actually do this, guys. Rotate him in. Rotate him in with Antoine Barbecue Woods. Rotate him in with Malik Collins of the world. And we have a better fit all together. Let me know what you guys think. Nick, appreciate you. Randall Cobb is a great fit as well. Yes, we did that earlier today. Uh, open-minded I like that name do you think Clayton gathers would be an improvement uh, there's a stat out there that he only missed eight tackles Jeff Heath missed 19 tackles gathers only played 12 games <laughs> Jeff Heath played over 16 games gathers had more tackles than Jeff Heath so I think that gathers if he can stay healthy he's a more guy that really to put his nose into it and he's just better suited for that strong safety role to me personally he's 225 pounds close to 230 almost six foot two jeff heath is anywhere around six foot one 210 so you put that in perspective uh but we will see down the line uh i i really think that they're just turning over every stone to see how they can help better this team all right, so uh, Ezekiel Elliott, he said, what's up, Law? Appreciate you for tuning in. Thank you for, for being part of this thing. Smokey on the Periscope, appreciate you and GG. Thank you all for being part of this thing. C Money said McDowell was a stud in college. Vosh did a film session on him. Check him out. Guy, I can't say this and stress this out much longer. Check out Vosh Lombardi. He brings the party with his film session. Check him out and also check out DMV Cowboys. Check out my guy, Mark Holmes, and check out everybody, man. Uh, we, we out here grinding for everybody. Big Game James. Check him out as well uh, from the Silver and Blue Nation. Uh, them boys, 88. Law, do you think the Dallas Cowboys could sign both Gathers and Barry? What are your thoughts on that? I think that uh, and I'm not going to do Barry's. I don't want to jinx Eric Barry's <laughs> film. So what I'm going to do is if he signed then I will jump on here and I do Eric Berry's film session from A to Z. The possibility, the last four interceptions he caught before he got injured, what have you, and uh, his health factor and his ability to play down into the box, which he will be, quote unquote, the strong safety. And um, the Xavier Woods can still be the free and you'll rotate the other guys. That's what I would do. Uh, yeah, and also, yes, check out my Cowboys family. They always in the mix, too. Guys, that's all the time that I have for this particular film. Don't forget, the archives will be on the Law Nations 2.0 page. I have the archives uh, that's going to be uploaded sometimes this week of this film and as well as the other films that I dropped earlier. All of it be archived on that particular channel where you can go and it just be no audio. It just be the actual all 22 for everyone to enjoy. Appreciate each and every last one of you all for tuning in to the nation. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this content. Let a friend, neighbor, foe know where to go. And also subscribe to this page and subscribe to this channel. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's jam on out the right way. Let me find my music. <laughs> Appreciate each and every last one of you all. I really do. I really do. 
Let me know how you guys feel about this brother from another mother, Carrie Hyder. Let's go, Cowboy Nation. Let's G O. Coach, appreciate you as well. Talk about it. He appreciate me. Man, I appreciate you. <laughs> as soon as my music load up, I'm jumping out of here. And then I'm going to jump up and pull up the other McDowell film. <laughs> here we go. She's already up. There we go. Hey.